Hey guys, this is Invis, and today I'm really excited to bring you all a brand new weekly series on the Mithrintia channel. We're going to upload a new installment every Wednesday, so get excited. The guy who's producing this series, David, is truly an awesome individual. Show your support for him and check out his channel. The link will be down below in the description and at the end of the video. That's it from me. Enjoy the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hello everyone and welcome to Season 2 of Let's Build Steam Islands. My name is David, also known as Vaduct, and this is a new series on the Mithrintia channel that is going to be coming out weekly if you guys enjoy it. So if you do, make sure to tell me in the comment section below. So let's not hesitate anymore and get stuck into the builds this week. went for a more traditional look um, to a station. It's like a, a, an ordinary train station but with like a, a steampunk look to it and obviously in the air. Uh, so you have these um, uh, platforms 
uh, sticking out so the airship would dock here so the passengers would be able to get on and get off the ship. Uh, you have little benches here for them to wait. Uh, you have the lamps which I think the good use for the daylight sensors is to put them at the top because that would uh, provide power for the lamps down below. So yeah, this is pretty much it on the, the roof I mostly used the um, the wood slabs for them. Um, I think spruce slabs possibly? Um, I think so. Uh, so yeah, it turned out quite nice. I didn't expect it to turn out that way, uh, but I'm happy with the way it looks. So now you have a little suspended bridge leading up to the main island on which there is this building, which is the, the terminal building for um, all the people that are going to be traveling. You have a hot air balloon and a little dock for them outside and you have a clock tower which is powered by this wind turbine and what I like about the steampunk builds is that they're very busy builds if you know what I mean there's a lot of stuff happening uh, in them because I mean normally you would just have this building like the base of this building you wouldn't have a tower and then a bit sticking out of it here which is quite cool. I, I like steampunk. So you have a lot of um, curved chimneys to make it look a little bit nicer. You have a lot of um, pipes on the outside to carry all of the steam, the water and everything. Uh, and I think it turned out quite nice. It's quite a shame that um, I wasn't able to build this uh, tower a little bit higher because I reached the height limit. But oh well, and now let me show you the inside of this. Okay, so the terminal building. So let me come inside. So first we have the, um, the message board being suspended off the, the supports that are supporting the whole building. I, as always, I went over the top with adding details for the roof. Um, I have these um, logs being supported by the fences, which supports the roof. Uh, so on the inside there's not much stuff happening because I just want it to be so people come in here just wait for their flights check their times because the way they buy tickets is just just before the flight just go there buy their tickets and off they go wherever they need to go so you have um, times for Iron Hill, Silver Lake so now I have to be very careful, careful not to show you the next episode which I already have pre-made so yeah you have the hot air balloon out here and you have the platform on which it lands, which is suspended off the ground a little bit. So yeah guys, I think that pretty much covers the first episode of um, Let's Build Steam Island. So I hope you enjoyed, if you did make sure to leave a rating down below and if you have any comments make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you would like to see more from me, more let's build, behind the scenes and stuff, then I recommend you subscribe to my channel and I think the link should be in the description or somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week, bye bye.